there have been a brutal spike in attacks on Asian and Pacific Islander Americans, particularly elders. John Yang said that for over a year now, Asian Americans have been fighting two viruses, the COVID-19 virus and a virus of racism. A recent Harris poll showed that over 75% of Asian Americans felt that they were a target or have increased fear of discrimination. An earlier poll was done last year showed that 40% of Asian Americans either experienced discrimination or heard someone blame Asia or China for COVID-19. On a national level, Yang said that the executive memorandum by the Biden administration is a good start that could lead to a better gathering of data and better understanding of the Asian American community. Mark Morial said that the hate and bigotry that has led to violence has increased towards Asian Americans, Latinx Americans, LGBTQ Americans, Jewish Americans, Islamic Americans, and Black Americans over the last four years because of the climate of intolerance that has been created in the nation. Manjush Shah Kulkarni talked about the significant numbers of COVID-19 racism in the U.S. Her organization A3PCon launched AAPI Hate Reporting Center last year as they began to see that these incidents take place and they have received over 2,800 incident reports over a course of 41 weeks. They found that women are experiencing hate two and a half times the rate of men and about 7% of respondents are also seniors. This is because these people are seen as more vulnerable. Most often what occurs is verbal harassment or name calling followed by shunning and avoidance. 10% make up physical assault and another 10% involves civil rights discrimination, which includes workplace discrimination, as well as refusal of service in public places and vandalism. Jose Roberto Hernandez said that the effects that we're seeing now go back farther than the last four years and to the foundations on what the United States was founded upon, which was not equality. As of 2019, the white population make up about 60.1% and by 2030, it will be at 50% or less than 50%. He said that what we're seeing now is the America first virus, and that is what we need to start dismantling. It is this perception of the 60% that want to exert power over the rest of the population who don't look like them. He stressed that we must continue to elect leaders who represent the different racial and cultural groups so that America is not looked upon as a white nation with minorities, but rather a nation that is multicultural and multi-ethnic.